Hi everyone. Have you ever wondered what is high dose hook effect? Yes, here in this video we are going to learn about that. Right? High dose hook effect in which analytical technique do you come across this hook effect? We come across this in amino acids. Right? We come across this hook effect in amino acids. So in non competitive amino acid, right? In non competitive amino acid, what happens? In non competitive amino acid, we have a capture antibody. Yes, we have a capture antibody, and you apply the sample or you give the sample, the sample contains the analyte, or that will be considered as an antigen, and, and then you give the labeled antibody. The labeled antibody will bind with the antigen at a different epitope okay so this labeled antibody you will identify with the help of adding substrate after which you get a signal right this signal is measured and that will be proportional to the concentration of the analyte in the sample right so the signal will be proportional to the concentration of analyte in the sample all right, so this is what is the non-competitive immunoassay. Now, this non-competitive immunoassay can happen and can uh, can be done in two ways. One is sequential way. Yes, one is a sequential way or sequential method. The other one is simultaneous method. So, simultaneous method by which I say, I mean that we add all the... Uh, all the capture antibody and label antibody at one go right so i'll be adding both the capture antibody and the label antibody simultaneously right so the antigen again the, i will apply the sample and that will bind with both the capture antibody and label antibody now sequential uh, method is by way first i will be adding the capture antibody after uh, no, after you have the capture antibody you will be adding the antigen you will give some time for it to bind with the capture antibody after which you add the labeled antibody right so this is how the sequential method is carried out so this are the two techniques by way of using the simultaneous in non-competitive immunoassay what can happen if your antigen concentration is very much high okay if your antigen concentration is going to be very much high what can happen it can bind with capture antibody and label antibody separately is it not so it can bind with capture antibody and label antibody separately so it will less or reduce the signal reduce the amount of complexes that is being formed yes first of all it will reduce the amount of or uh, quantity of complexes that is formed thereby there is reduced signal so what happens the analyte concentration is high there is high analyte concentration but we get a low signal yes we get a low signal and that there will, there will be a falsely low value that we get yes you get a falsely low value so this is what is called as the hook effect yes this is called as the hook effect now let me show you a picture so look at this along the x-axis you have the concentration and along the y-axis you have the signal so as the analyte concentration increases as you can see the curve the signal also increases right it is directly proportional so as the analyte concentration increases your signal is also getting increased but if you can see when the analyte concentration is still more increased there is a hook effect that has been observed this is what is hook effect so the hook effect is being observed so what does it mean the hook effect is telling us it is pointing towards a lower concentration is it not it is showing a lower value yes it is showing a lower value even though the analyte concentration is high you will get a signal that is comparable with a lower analyte concentration so that is what is what that is what is called as the high dose hook effect that has been observed in the non-competitive immunoassay when they are carried out in a simultaneous method right so this is what is high dose hook effect so how can we overcome it how can we overcome it how can high dose hook effect be overcome so the first of all first of all we can use the sequential method yes first of all we can use a sequential method so first we will 
first to the capture antibody you can add the antigen you can allow it to uh, react after which you can add the label antibody right so that can be done that is the first step next is you can increase the amount of capture and the label antibody yes you can increase the amount of capture and the label antibody more more than the analyte that you can suspect right so you can increase the concentration of the capture and label antibody so it will cover a wide range of analyte concentration so that also you can prefer that also you can be doing and the next step is you can you can add a wash step in between before or before adding the wash step before adding the labeled antibody yes so these are the ways by which you can minimize or even reduce the high dose hook effect right so what are the analyzes that can get affected by this so for example when you get when you take tumor markers tumor markers the range of the tumor markers pathological range of the tumor markers are very wide right so in that case you will not suspect that in every patient so that in that case high do high analyte concentration can be observed in a in any particular tumor so in that high analyte concentration uh i mean even the pathological concentration of any analyte is going to be very wide and high so those markers will be affected by this high dose hook effect so we have to be cautious when handling these kind of analytes right so when in some some immuno assays that immuno assays that are being cleared by us fda they will uh, give us a, they will give us an analyte concentration yes they will give us an analyte concentration A range, yes. Then I will give us an analyte concentration range below which it is not affected by hook effect. Okay, below which it is not affected by hook effect. So that whenever the analyte concentration is above a particular range, we can think that it has been affected by hook effect, or you can be we can be cautious about it. All right. Yes. So this these are the points that you have to understand on hook effect. So whenever you whenever the assay is being affected by this, you can dilute the sample and reanalyze. Reanalyze. Okay. You can dilute the sample and reanalyze. So these are the points that you have to remember on high dose hook effect, and you have to know the ways by which you can overcome it. Right. Thank you all.